A close call for Somerset County first responders last night. Their ambulance caught fire just minutes after unloading a patient. It happened just outside the doors of Connemaugh's Memorial Medical Center in Johnstown. And today, the crew on board that Myersdale ambulance tells us they're lucky things happened the way they did, or they might not be here to share their story. Maria Miller talked with them today and has more on this. Maria? Uh, this is an ambulance I'm told was used for longer trips. It was older. It had about 200,000 miles on it and was very soon going to be replaced. But it's also an ambulance the station tells me it never had any issues with that would have caused them to foresee a problem like a fire. And tonight they say they're just thankful no one was inside at the time. Uh, we had no suspicion of anything. We didn't smell anything, see anything or hear anything when he crawled out of the ambulance, out of the driver's seat. Nothing. But within minutes, that all changed Sunday night. Myersdale Ambulance paramedic Brad Moss says he was on his way back outside of Connemaugh Hospital after dropping off a patient when security guards there had some news. About five or six security guards surrounding our ambulance, all with fire extinguishers. And they said, your ambulance is on fire. They saw it on the uh, cameras and were able to extinguish it before the fire company got there. Investigators believe it was an electrical short near the battery switch that sparked the fire and quickly spread throughout the front of the ambulance and into the back, destroying or at least heavily damaging everything inside. They're getting an, an, a good list of inventory for our insurance company. Uh, I talked with them this morning. Uh, we have vehicle coverage and we also have interior coverage for what's inside the ambulance. About $100,000 in damages and the loss of an ambulance for an already small rural station that covers an area about 15 square miles in Somerset County and into Maryland. Well, we depend on the neighbors. Uh, Salisbury is is aware of our situation. They're going to help us out as much as they can. I know Berlin Berlin actually came into town for a call this morning for us. We do as much as we can for the community, but sometimes things like this happen. I'm just glad nobody got hurt. That's that's the main thing. And Moss agrees, telling us he considers the way things happened to be a miracle. My personal feeling is, if it had, if we had been on the highway, probably all three of us would be in the hospital right now, being treated for burns. Medics and EMTs at Myersdale Ambulance are paid, but the station as a whole is a nonprofit. It runs mainly on calls and local support. And tonight, it's confident that most that their insurance will cover most of the damages, but tells us that donations are never turned away and could especially be used there tonight. Reporting live, Maria Miller, Six News.